I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. So here we have the Saturn V rocket that was cancelled due to budget cuts. So they've got it on display. I remember my father uh, building me a model of this particular style. Incredible. So this is an actual rocket. The only reason they've got it on display, of course, when the rockets go up, they leave most of it in space. And this one never got to go. So, um... We have it here, absolutely amazing. And you can see here, this is what's incredible. This is the separation that you see. So obviously they've set it up so that uh, in two parts, three parts it looks like. So, the, so this would have been the first stage separation. Amazing, look at those rockets, huh? just incredible. I mean the heat that would have come out of those things. And of course, after this particular project, then they um, they worked on a different style, so they never used the rocket. So, um, so we've seen the first stage separation, and then we got the second stage, which is this bit. So you can see here, it doesn't need quite so much fuel because um, or as thrush because obviously it's up in space and. The resistance is less and the gravity force is less. So they're pushing absolutely amazing. Look at that engine. I mean, there's a rocket engine and a half. Really incredible. Actually, go up and have a look inside. There you go. Amazing. Now, all this part, so everything from here that you see, as well as most of that, but all this would have been dumped up in space. And I suppose it's probably floating around somewhere up there. Yeah. It'd be interesting to find that out, wouldn't it, where it is. And then this little bit at the end is the bit that the astronauts would have been in. So, you can see here similarities to what we saw inside. That final final little um, capsule it is the one that actually ends up back in the, back in the ocean. So uh, here we go. Now that apparently is a safety rocket at the end. They were saying something about it but unfortunately it was full of kids and they were screaming uh, entertaining each other. So, <clears throat> But you can see the little tiny thrusters up there. So you see four of them there. Amazing. And then there's four under there. Those are little thrusters. It's just really is. It's amazing to see it. It really is. In the United States. Not quite USS Enterprise, but you know, it's a start. And when you think this was, you know, gosh, 60s, they started this. I mean, that's like, what is that, 40, 60 years ago? 
something ridiculous. I mean, I, you know, you couldn't trust a car in those days, that alone is space rocket. That's the beach there. I mean, look at those thrusters on that thing. Absolutely. The temperatures would have been astronomical. I must admit, when I came in, I was a bit disappointed because it looked a bit more like a child's um, science museum. And, um, but there is a bit here for everyone. It's amazing. So we're just going to look at the big rockets at the end. It's incredible. Rehearsal going on. You can see here the landing module. stand here when it was launching, it would last a millisecond, um, but uh, one way to get from I suppose. Just absolutely amazing. So there's five of these engines. One, two, three, one up there, and one over there. You can get an idea of the scale of them. Really, I've seen models that I made when I was a kid, but this is really something that's amazing. Thank <laughs> you. 